me and Mr. Moore are giving out our thoughts about this update. I'm going to make a left. So, we can, like I said, we can drag race, we can drift downhill, we can pretty much do everything in our own creation on this update, which is nice. So, it's an op opportunity for us in the Need for Speed community um, to pretty much express ourselves in this game, driving our own vehicles. Like, like, like I said, for example, in the thumbnail, I'm driving Mia's car, and Mr. Moore is driving Letty's car. So, this is like a Fast and Furious moment going on, driving in the city, and we can, like I said, pretty much remake this whole ideal of, you know, a video like this. And, you know, I, I see as though that, you know, I can't, honestly, I just can't wait to the next up. Like the speed of sound. What is going on guys? This is Bullet Train HD and welcome back again to the channel to Navy Speed Free Roam update. If you guys not know already, subscribe, hit that like button for more videos like these. Um here it is. I'm driving Mia's in a sex and Mr. Moore is driving Letty's Plymouth on the channel. But his channel will be in the description box down below. We're gonna talk about this update right now and just pretty much get down to business. So that being said. All links are down below and uh, anyways as for this free room there is no private lobbies which you guys write in the title to me that's kind of an issue but not is a not a very big issue but the good thing is we can just pretty much load the game up join the lobby and that's it this is all drive when you load up your game it's gonna all this stuff will pop up do you want to continue your game and stuff like that like I said you'll see all that because that's what I had to go through as soon as you get the update done but I'm gonna show you guys in the garage you can use any car any car in this all drive mode so i'm gonna go back to the garage i will be right back mr moore and you're gonna give up more our thoughts on this and i hope this video is not poop because the last one i had to delete and it was only 10 minutes and uh it, it the video quality was bad and stuff so um forgive me that this video is gonna be a little bit late but i just want to get these minutes in here for you guys and just talk about this and give up my thoughts so that being said, we were at the garage, and as you guys can see, all these are my cars that I own. We can use any car in, in our garage, as far as the storage garage. We could swap cars, just like in the story mode and in-game. So, from any car from race, any car, as you guys can see in my garage, to drift, to drag, to off-road, to runner, and to speed cross. Alright, so I'm going to make my way to the gas station. I mean, not to, to the gas station, to the performance station, and um, talk to you guys more about that, because you guys need to know about this right away, and um, the loading time still kind of take a, a little bit long, but I don't see it as, as much as a big deal. They should have made the online times a lot quicker. So, like I said, I'm going to go to the part shop, the tune-up. We go to the, we can also do fast travel to the tune-up shop and tune up our cars on the fly online which is another clever idea which I really like this idea in the update and um, just go to tune up and you got your quick perks here you got your 6, 11 and 16 but not all cars are level 16 but I wish that they will have all level 16 cars for every single car for like every build but they don't well, as you guys can see, you can upgrade your cars on the fly with the stock, and then you can equip whatever you want here. Obviously, because it's the same thing as you guys seen it before. And to sell all your parts, you have to press the triangle button on your controller, or if you have an Xbox, let me know. Um, and you can sell all your multiple parts that you have in stock. And you can also still buy your parts with the add-on perks, which you know upgrade your car's performance. And you can use your trading cards which I don't have any because I spent some earlier and you guys know about the equipped so this is another thing I really like about the quick the quick tuning which you don't have to you know grind all these hours to get money all you have to do is get like a hundred thousand one hundred eighty thousand one hundred thirty one thousand which you guys already read in the under the hood update um but uh anyways 
that being said, there is no private lobbies. And uh, Mr. Moore, um, let's do, do this cruise and give out our thoughts about the non-open, non-private lobbies. So uh, you go ahead and go first, bro. about the non-private lobbies I know we could do with private lobbies because it would be so much easier so then have random people following us around we could do with that any more thoughts you want to give out on this update and what's your likes and dislikes let's see I like the open freaking world aspect to it the cockers because I'd like to get in a police chase um, maybe a wider choice of rooms not like for certain cars you have like all the same rooms we could do like more choice of rooms um, maybe more body parts not like the same parts we could do some more that's what I'm gonna say all right, well, um, I'm going to get rolling, you know, for this cruise that we're going to have. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, overall, this update, uh, I'm going to give this update my personal rating um, for the private lobbies. I give it a 9.5, but everything else, you could do everything on the fly. As quick as possible, you don't have to do a lot of grinding just to um, get the parts that you need. So, I do like this update. I'm really impressed with this update. And I want to thank Need for Speed. Um, I want to thank, excuse me, Ghost Games for making this happen. And me and Mr. Moore giving out our thoughts about this update. I'm going to make it left. So. We can, like I said, we can drag race, we can drift downhill, we can pretty much do everything in our own creation on this update, which is nice. So it's an opportunity for us in the Need for Speed community um, to pretty much express ourselves in this game, driving our own vehicles. Like, like, like I said, for example, in the thumbnail, I'm driving Mia's car and Mr. Moore is driving Letty's car. So... This is like a fast and furious moment going on, driving in the city, and we can, like I said, pretty much remake this whole ideal of, you know, a video like this, and, you know, I, I see as though that, you know, I can't, honestly, I just can't wait to the next update for the cops, the free roam cops. If you guys don't know about Fate, LP Ripper made a video about that, I will link his channel in the description box down below for you guys to check out, but... As far as the update goes, I'm pretty impressed with it. Everything is pretty much done on the fly. Um, I don't really know how to take pictures of the up, the updated quality of it, but you know that's that's okay. And I don't know, I don't know what else to say about this update, but I just want to do a quick video, get this out there for you guys to let you guys know, because there's other people I'm sure they already updated already, and people probably already live streaming this this game. But uh, I'm going to say big thank you, Mr. Moore, for coming down for this video and this live comm session. I know you didn't say much, but I just wanted to speak upon my mind, and you did too. But I really appreciate you coming down. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's going on having the time to do so. And um, I'm going to stop my car here. And I'm going to say that this update, hands down, is pretty good. Like I said, I like the update and I like the aspect of the open lobbies being implemented in the game. And you'd be able to update, I mean, upgrade your cars on the fly, change your cars at the garage, leave, find everybody where they at, uh, put the put the map on display. Me, I'm going to exit out of the picture and then press the button in the middle of the PlayStation controller, as you can see. Um, you can see everybody and see what's going on and where everybody is on the map. You can use any level car you want, it just doesn't matter. You're free to do whatever, pretty much whatever you want, except for there's no cops. Which I'm going to guess that everyone wants free roam cops in this game in the next update installment, which I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not even sure I can't confirm that to you guys, but without a doubt, 
this is the Need for Speed update free roam on the channel. Like I said, subscribe if you're not new. There's two links down below. Um, LP Ripper's channel and also Mr. Moore's channel will be in the description box down below. Subscribe if you're not new already. And this is Need for Speed Payback Free Roam Online. Our experiences, our likes, our dislikes, our thoughts implemented in this video. So all links are down below. Like I said, subscribe if you're not new. Give this video a like and um, we're moving like the speed of sound and I'll see you guys in the next episode.